So uh, welcome everyone to, to this session. So this is gonna be an informa informational session about the UEA, UEA LLM program and uh, relevant scholarships, uh, uh, your opportunities. Uh, so today is uh, our great pleasure to have Professor Jackie Longman with us today. So Professor Jackie is the director of postgraduate taught programs and admissions, and also the course director for the International Commercial and Business Law and International Trade Law Master's courses. Um, and she teaches courses on international commercial law, international commercial arbitration, uh, the law and practice of international commercial payment, and international trade law. Uh, it's my uh, honor to have you with us today, Jackie. And also we have uh, Miss Caroline, who's uh, uh, Professor Jackie's colleague with us today as well. Uh, the floor is yours, uh, Professor Jackie. Thank you. Many thanks indeed, Amrat, and, and good, good afternoon to all of you, and thank you for taking time out of your very busy days to listen to me. I hope I won't spend too much of your time, but I just wanted to introduce you to the UEA Law School, this beautiful, this is our home, um, Earlham Hall in Norwich, um, and just spend a few minutes talking about the LLM programme. Um, and our close relationship that we have developed over the last 15 years or so with Tamasat uh, Law School and indeed with the wider university. So I've had the very, very distinct pleasure of teaching a lot of Thai students and students from Tamasat as well, and get a lot of pleasure from the relationships that we've built up over the years. And so I just wanted to emphasize to those listening today that you know, we, we have a very um, active alumni in, in Thailand. And so we have this rather wonderful uh, relationship with, with Tamasat and indeed with, with other universities. And I just wanted to share a little bit of that information with you today. So what I'm going to do, um, that's just me, is just talk a little bit about the law school itself and why you would study for a, an LLM. Um, a, outside of the fact that it gives you the special pathway for the judges' exams, and then why you would study at the UEA Law School. So we'll have a quick look at the courses and the structure of the LLM courses and the course um, and module delivery, because I know that this is important to students as well. I wanted to mention also our Bespoke Employability Programme, which although you may not be thinking of qualifying as English lawyers, it's actually still very relevant and important to you as well. And specifically for Thai students, the arrangements that we have put in place to enhance the LLM programme. And then even more specifically for you as Tamasat law students, particularly the scholarships that we have in place in light of our close relationship. A quick chat about the entry requirements onto the LLM and where our Thai graduates are now. And so at the end, then some more contact information. But again, during the course of the talk, please do feel free to use the chat bot. My colleague is here with me as well. So I won't interrupt my talk, but certainly she will try to respond or we can leave the questions as well till afterwards. So that's what I want to hope to do today. But I just wanted to also, first of all, tell you where Norwich was now, um, or the, where the UEA, the University of East Anglia, and East Anglia is a region within England. Um, but you can see there where London is, um, and you can see in the, in the smaller picture, the whole picture of the United Kingdom. And we're in this southeast corner, and actually just two hours away from London by train, um, and a lot of you may well even come into the UK via the uh, airport in Amsterdam, straight into Norwich Airport. But just to let you know that it's not a million miles away from London, but it's very different from London. So we are a top law school and we like to think that we make a difference. Um, we are relatively young. So although we're housed in that beautiful historic Earlham Hall, uh, the law school has only been around since 1977, so nowhere near as old as Tamasat Law School. Um, but we are what I would call medium-sized. Um, what we've seen in the UK is a lot of universities have got very, very big indeed. So 
our postgraduates, including the research students, so the taught and the research, were around 120. Mm -hmm. So in fact, this year on the LLM, we have 110, um, but it's quite a big year. And I'll talk about the who is making up this year in a few minutes. So I would say a medium, but a very personal law school, particularly for the postgraduate community. And we are renowned for our high quality courses, internationally recognized research as well, and also for providing this idea of this student focused experience. So we get to know our students through teaching them, through acting as their academic advisors, and actually by ensuring that we bring together a really close community feel. We're on a campus, so we're able to bring everybody in, so we're not spread across the city. Um, we're an approved provider of qualifying law degrees in the UK, and again, well known for our innovative and stimulating research and courses. And I think one of the most important things, as I've said, is this idea of having a friendly environment um, with people that you can come and talk to and a very, very effective student support system, both from the law school itself, but actually the wider UEA community. We are, and it's important for a lot of you, we're on a very safe and friendly campus. Um, there are very, very frequent buses to and from Norwich City Centre, but also Norfolk is very flat. So a lot of students buy a bicycle and cycle to and from the city. But again, it's a very, very beautiful, very safe campus experience for you. Um, in terms of why you would study for a master's in law, well, as I said, I know that a lot of you are thinking about this because you know that by studying two LLMs, you then have an accelerated pathway for doing the judges' exams. But actually studying for an LLM is important for many other reasons as well. It's one of these degrees that is seen as being very prestigious. So it can lead to a wide range of career options, not just in law, and it's seen as prestigious because actually it's quite demanding as well. Within the degree, particularly as we teach it at the UEA, you not only learn law, you learn skills as well. So within the curriculum, we build in this idea of developing your skills, such as group work, presentation skills, analysis. And these are the skills that are used in a huge number of other professions as well. Politicians, business people, bankers, all of these sorts of things. These skills are absolutely essential. And of course, it, they are difficult. You're, you're all doing your undergraduate law degrees. So you know that law is not an easy subject. And of course, when you step up to the master's level, you're demonstrating actually a further commitment to this idea of intellectual excellence and um, the qualities that recruiters, employers really like to see and very highly value. And of course, as I've already mentioned, for you, a lot of the motivation may well be this accelerated pathway for the judges' exams. So that's the why you study for a master's. But why would you come to the UEA Law School and study for your LLM? Well, as I've mentioned already, we've got a very diverse and intellectually stimulating range of courses, which I'll talk about in a minute. But also something that a lot of other universities do not offer is this idea of small group and interactive teaching so that you actually have an opportunity to interact with your law lecturer and also with one another. And that is really important at master's level. We teach from an international and comparative perspective. So you wouldn't come to the UEA and just learn English law. You'd be looking at it from a comparative perspective and looking at other systems and indeed harmonization. We know that we have economic integration and now we're in the 21st century and seeing legal integration as well. And there is, as mentioned, a real focus on developing 
your legal, so analytical problem solving skills, but also those transferable skills as well and commercial awareness. Um, we also have a very active LLM student community. We are small enough for everyone to get to know each other and we make sure that we build this community. It was very difficult last year when we were all in the pandemic and a lot of the teaching was online, but I'm delighted to say that we are back to face-to-face -face now and I'm getting to know our new LLM community and had the pleasure of having a social event with them on Thursday evening and meeting most of our Thai students and a lot of others as well. So a real community spirit that we build upon. And I know that a lot of you are still studying, you're still thinking just about staying in university, but thinking about what you do after university. For those of you who won't be going on to do the judges exams, thinking also about other opportunities. So we have this employability programme, which actually is very important to all students, including LLM cohort as well. And this will give you an opportunity to develop uh, skills such as writing your CV, having a mock interview in English, as some of you may well have to be interviewed in English, and actually having an opportunity to go and work in other environments, law firms and other employers. So this employability programme is also very much unique at the law school. We also have a law clinic which students can get involved in. So there are some of the reasons why you would come to the UEA. Um, one of the most important, though, is actually we do care. I'm aware of a lot of huge universities, huge law schools, where students just get lost in the numbers. Um, but in fact, we really do get to know all of our law postgraduate students, our LLM students. And I would just say, just ask our alumni, and um, I'm going to give you an opportunity later to have an opportunity. Uh, get to know our alumni and, and, and speak with them if you'd like to. So I think that they're the main reasons why you would choose the our LLM program. Um, but of course, we are on the Thai uh, judicial approved list of providers and a number of our courses, the ones with the little star, are already recognised and on that Thai judicial commission list including the LLM and International Commercial and Business Law, which is very popular with our Thai students. Um, the LLM and Information Technology and Intellectual Property Law, this is a relatively recent course that has been recognised. But again, this year we have six Thai students studying on this very 21st century subject area. We have the International Trade Law LLM, again, very popular with the uh, Thai students, and then the general LLM, which is the one that gives the students the widest range of choice, and again, is popular with our Thai students. On top of those, we have international commercial dispute resolution and international commercial and competition law. And um, these are not yet on the list, but my understanding is that as soon as someone does the judicial exams, the Thai Judicial Commission then recognises that course as we are a recognised provider. So there you go, you can see that we've got a, large, a range of courses for you to choose from. And from within those courses then, thinking about how you will be taught. So when you arrive, when you start your LLM, how is it delivered? Well, as I've mentioned, we have students from all around the world. And this is what makes the LLM programme so wonderful. And actually, we are not dominated by one or a couple of nationalities, as a number of the other law schools are. We do have a lot of Thai students this year. We have 33 of the 110 are from Thailand. I think that that's because there were so many that didn't come last year, which is very understandable. So we've had a bit of pent up demand, um, but we have a real global feel. So students from all continents around the world come together, meet up and get to know each other very well. So a real global or international feel. 
Now, all of the lecturers teaching on the LLM programme are very familiar and practised with teaching different nationalities and different linguistic abilities. So we all know how to ensure um, that there is a community spirit, that everybody has an opportunity to speak and develop. And indeed, when, as I've said, not only are we focusing on legal knowledge and understanding, so the substantive law also focused when we're teaching you on developing these really important skills, so commercial awareness and also practical problem solving skills as well. And as I said, we don't just teach common law, we teach this from an international and comparative perspective. And that's why what you're learning now on your LLBs, on your undergraduate law degrees, will be useful when you come and do an LLM here at the UEA. And indeed, my Thai students are teaching me about what's going on um, in terms of uh, the Thai government adopting international instruments. And indeed, they're teaching me about the progress of international commercial arbitration in Thailand. And uh, I know Bangkok is becoming a very popular seat of arbitration. So I benefit as well from students from around the world who teach me about their law. In terms of the actual uh, module teaching, well, um, it's different from undergraduates. You don't have huge lectures. You might have small lectures, but fundamentally at the UEA Law School, we focus on having small group seminars. So around 20 in a seminar group usually. And so you have real discussion, but you do need to prepare for this. So it's about two hours per week per subject that you get, but also quite a lot of preparation. We bring practitioners in from industry to speak to you and all sorts of innovation in the teaching. And of course, although you're here to learn, you also unfortunately have to take assessments. Um, we do our assessments through the course of the year, not just at the end as a number of the universities do. So we, we have a multiple, multiple types of assessment, coursework, group work, online, pre-released exams, and a dissertation at the end as is standard. But what we ensure is that when you do do your coursework, whether it's your practice or your actual, we will give you feedback. And by giving you feedback and taking that feedback on board, that will make you improve. It'll give you an opportunity to improve in your assessments that come afterwards. So we're, we're very proud of the fact that we are very quick in giving our feedback on what, how you're performing. Okay, so the range of modules. Well, um, when you look online and you look at other universities, you'll see a lot of these, although we have our core module foundations, which, as I mentioned, really looking at how the global economy is really leading to a, a global approach to commercial law as well. And, of course, Thailand is no exception in its approach to harmonisation as well. But we also have some more innovative subjects which you can take, globalisation of intellectual property law, international competition law, and the idea of internet, how we control the internet and govern it, sales law, carriage of goods, litigation, arbitration, and indeed the My Arbitration module is now accredited by this Chartered Institute of Arbitrators. So for those wanting to go on to practice as arbitrators, it means it's you don't have to study that subject again. Law of the World Trade Organization, which again, incredibly important, law of e-commerce, plus lots of other optional choices that are available to you. And indeed, another innovation is you can choose up to 40 credits from outside of the law school at postgraduate taught level. Although most of our students, they have so much choice from the law modules that they don't go beyond. But we have had a few this year that are taking subjects from the international development course or within the business school. So this makes the mod, uh, courses very attractive as well. I've mentioned the employability programme just because it is important that 
we are thinking beyond just our study. And we do have dedicated law school employability directors. So people who have been out in practice and are now at the law school helping our students. And as I mentioned, an internship program, which all students are entitled to do, take part in, and some indeed just specifically for the LLM students, an annual law fair, and indeed access to UEA support and guidance for three years after you graduate, which again can be really important. More importantly for you is actually we also have developed for the whole program a number of foreign placements in the Middle East, in Thailand, in Turkey. So these um, are also important and add to the value of the LLM program. Okay, so for you, for, for the Thai students, these are some of my wonderful Thai students from about six years ago. I don't know whether um, Amnat recognises any of them from Tamasat. I think two of them are Tamasat graduates there. Um, and that was graduation outside of Earlham Hall. Um, so specifically for you, for, for you as high students, well, as I've mentioned, we are on the approved list. So that, um, a number of our courses now are recognised so that you can take one or indeed two. Um, most years we have students coming and doing two LLMs um, so that you then have the accelerated pathway for the judicial exams. We do also, um, having um, had relationships with Thai uh, law firms, we've been able to secure a number of placements back in Bangkok for those students who are, instead of going on the judicial or the, or the public prosecutor pathway, are going instead into practice. So this is an opportunity to come back home and work in one of these law firms in Bangkok doing international commercial work. Um, we also have the Thai Mentor Programme. So I've mentioned that over the years, I've taught a lot of students from Thailand, and when they go back home and they become judges, they then volunteer to act as mentors or guides to our current students. And indeed, we have a number of our Thai students now who have been put in touch with prosecutors, judges and indeed practitioners back in Thailand and of course they can then help them and give them guidance on what to do when they finished their um, LLM courses and they're returning home. So really, really helpful and important add-on to what we provide for the Thai students. Um, some more lovely um, alumni, uh, again, that's in Earlham Park, which is just next door to Earlham Hall. Um, we have a law English language programme, which is um, an optional programme that we run now in the first semester. For those of you who are worried about this sort of your ability to speak legal English, a very safe and friendly campus, which again, for a number of you where this will be your first time away from home and first time out of Thailand and living outside of your uh, countries, having this ability to move and know that you're going somewhere that's safe and friendly and secure and not a huge massive city is really important for you and indeed really important for your nearest and dearest, your mums, your dads, your relatives. Um, now, I always say when students start, meet people from other countries, but of course, it's nice to know that wherever you're going, you're gonna have people from your own country you can speak to and make friends with. And we do have a very, very active Thai society. I know many of the faces in this picture. Um, so they have a very, very active Thai community here at the UEA. We have 50 15,000 students here, um, but actually have each year have around uh, 200 from Thailand. Um, and again, this was taken, I think, about six or seven years ago. And I'm just smiling because I can see faces that I taught um, back on the LLM program. So again, a very active Thai community. Now, 
tuition fees next year are still lower than London. They are eighteen and a half thousand pounds per year. That's for the tuition, and of course, you pay on top of that your living expenses. But again, specifically for you as Tamasat students, we have do, we have arranged a number of very very attractive scholarships, um, which Amnat is aware of. So in recognition of this close relationship that we have with Tamasat Law School, all of the offer holders from Tamasat automatically qualify for a £5,000 scholarship. So that's over 25% of the fees. However, if you have done or if you're going to do particularly well in your undergraduate law degree and you get a GPA of 3.3 and above, you get a £6,000 scholarship. Um, but it gets better because actually we have two 50% scholarships as well. And they are at the discretion of the Tamasat Law School. And indeed, if you are interested, um, you'll need to contact Amnat, um, who will be able to explain to you the process. And I'll provide some more information about that and get and ask Amnat to supply that to you as well. So really very attractive scholarships there, specifically for you as Tamasat students um, to sort of add to the, the benefit of coming to the UEA Law School to study for one or more of your LLMs. Um, we do actually also have an academic excellence scholarship. Um, so if for some reason you know you need some more funding, then I encourage students or offer holders to come and um, email me, to have a chat with me, to chat with our international office. And Carolyn is online, but we do have some of these um, academic excellence to add to what we already have for Tamasat specifically. Okay, so there's just a quick look at the entry requirements. We're looking for a 2.2 equivalent for your GPA, but we're looking usually for law. And as I'm speaking to law students now, I don't need to go beyond that. Um, but there's lots more information on the website as well. We obviously need to make sure that your English is also up to required standards. So we expect also um, an IELTS score of six with a minimum of 5.5, but we also consider other English language um, providers as well. So again, if you, when I give this uh, PowerPoint to Amnat, you'll be able to click through on that live link. Okay, so where are our many, many Thai graduates? As I said, every year we get between 15 and 25 high students on the LLM program. As I said, this year, I think because of the, so many didn't come last year because of the pandemic, we have a lot, we have a few more this year, but a lot of them are now judges or prosecutors in Thailand. Um, I know in Thailand, you have this separate profession where you go into the judiciary. Um, in England, it's, it's different. Uh, you go from one of the two professions in later on. Um, but many are also qualified in working in international law offices that are represented in Bangkok, in Thailand, to name but a few. There we go, Hunt and Williams, Norton Rose, Fulbright. We also have quite a few that have gone to be in-house lawyers. So where you go into a business, into a company, um, or even go into the government. So a few of our alumni are actually working in the Thai government, in the uh, legal commission and similar departments. So you can go what I call in-house, so going internally into a business. Um, we have quite a number who have finished their LLMs or even done a PhD here with us at the UEA Law School, and they are now back in Thailand and teaching in universities. Um, so I, I'm, I understand that actually it's almost expected that anyone like Amnat and your other wonderful professors that you have to do PhD and LLMs in order to go back and teach at the universities there in Thailand. 
And, and as I said, it's not just the legal profession that the LLM and the, your law degrees will open up to you. There are lots of other businesses who recognize the value of these law degrees, including banking, accountancy, journalism, and I've said, going back into academia. Because don't forget, having law degrees is so well respected across the world because of the fact that they are academically rigorous. And of course, you're all doing your undergraduate law degrees now, but then you step it up to the LLM, you enhance your CV and make you even more attractive to employers in a whole wide range of professions. So not just being judges or prosecutors, but a whole wide range of professions in Thailand, but beyond as well. So our Thai alumni or graduates, they are all very, very warm to UEA Law School, and a number of them are now helping our current students, our Thai students, and acting as their mentors. So it just goes to show this wonderful community that we build here at the UEA. Okay, this is just one quote from one of our past students who actually did two masters at the LLA um, at UEA and had an opportunity to do a Bangkok based placement as well. Um, and he just said, there he said, he loved the UEA in Norwich so much, he stayed for two years. Um, I think he did make a, a lot of use of the um, facilities. He was going to London a lot. And he was a really wonderful representative of our law school. And indeed, I'm still in touch with Metas. Um, and uh, yeah, he's doing very well in practice in Bangkok. OK, so we're at the end now. Um, there are lots of ways to get in touch. Um, there's my email at the bottom of the page. And I very much encourage you to email me if you do have any questions. Um, and of course, if, if you're a little um, uncertain, do please get in touch with Amna and he can always raise questions with me. But lots of information there. We are on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, obviously. Um, you can reach out and chat with students or members of faculty, um, email the admissions team. And indeed, I'm sure that my colleague Carolyn would be very happy to speak with you as well. So there's lots of information there on the website, but hopefully this short talk has, has um, explained what we have to offer here at the UEA Law School. But I'm really happy now to take any questions that you might have. And there's my uh, attempt, uh, thank you very much for listening today. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now so that I can see the chat box. But as I said, I'm really happy to take any questions that anyone might have now. Thank you all very much. I'm just having a look at some of the questions that have come up. Okay. Um, yes, so Carolyn has said a 2.7. Um, I mean, you know, it, a 2.7 is a very good mark. We will look at lower marks than 2.7, particularly for Tamasat, because we know how rigorous the law degree and the law program is. We know that you have a lot of assessments. Um, so we, we will look at lower than 2.7, but that's our benchmark. Okay. I will send the slides, yes, to um, Amnat, um, but I'm very happy to take any other questions. So, so if any students have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, turn on their microphone and ask, or if you are not comfortable uh, speaking right now, uh, feel free to type it down in the uh, uh, in chat box. I, I see one question, Professor Jackie, if, if you want to address it. With so, disabilities, uh, absolutely. Yeah. We have a very, very active student support mechanism in place across the university. Um, so we encourage our students to report their disabilities as they are actually registering. Um, and we have a system in place, therefore, that can accommodate all types of disabilities. Um, so 
we are there to help you. The, your academic advisor is kept very private. Um, a lot of students don't want to share their disabilities. So it is kept very private, but the one person on the faculty that is told is the academic advisor. Um, and of course, if the disability means that um, concessions need to be put in place to assist in the learning and the teaching, then module organisers will be told as well. So, so much support there. Again, the U UEA as a university prides itself on the amount and time invested in the student support services. Um, and again, if anyone is interested, just go on to the UEA um, website, type in student support, and you'll see the huge array that's available there. Um, but again, student support is important for absolutely everybody. Um, in, there's a whole department that is um, supporting the international students in all manner, not just their visas, but also um, in recognition that a lot of uh, the students are getting used to a very different university system. The UK system is different from the Thai system, different from uh, the system in China, et cetera. So hopefully uh, that um, responds. And, and Carolyn has just popped a link into the chat that will take you to um, details that are there. Um, and it's, as it says, it's within the student life um, supports. So hopefully that Supanut has responded to your question. <coughs> and when, when are you going to all have exams? I now think you, you, you've you moved to a sort of uh, US semester system, haven't you? So do you start in um, September, I'm not? Yes, that's right. Uh, so we start in like maybe mid-August and, okay. and you're going to have the final exam uh, mid, uh, actually in the first week of December. Ah. Yeah. And then you have a break? Yeah, uh, a quick break, maybe one or two weeks. Right. Yeah. Uh, during the new year. And then the new year, and then you're all working hard. Yeah. Yeah. So that's very sim. I and mean, we we now we start in late September. So uh, so that you are aware, um, the UK academic year for universities starts usually in late September, some early October. Um, we have an induction week, and then teaching starts, and then the teaching will finish. Sort of mid December, actually this this year it's eighteenth of December, and then they have four weeks. Um, I, I won't call it a holiday because they have coursework and other assessments, and then January, mid January, sort of fourteenth, twenty first. Students come back. They start their second semester, and then they'll work then until May. And then they'll have assessments then. And then through the summer, sort of mid-May through to late August, the LLM students are doing their dissertation. Okay, But, you know, we, we have um, constant uh, guidance sessions being run and obviously meeting with the academic supervisor as well. So a little slightly different, but I am um, fairly similar academic year. Yeah, actually, that is very similar. Uh, so, so for other students who have questions, feel free to, to, to type it down. But I, I just want to add something about the scholarship that Jackie mentioned earlier, about the 50% scholarship. So, so we have these two 50% uh, scholarships available for TU students. Uh, so the process is like this. Um, we're going to normally announce uh, this opportunity, I mean, in the application process, um, in maybe... Uh, February or, or March, if I remember correctly. And you can uh, submit your application um, until uh, mid-June. Uh, after that, uh, uh, we're going to look at your application files and uh, uh, we're going to uh, 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 make an make appointment to, to interview uh, you so that we, we have a um, qualified candidate. So that, and then we will forward the names uh, or nominate you to the UEA uh, law school afterwards. Okay. 
Uh, so the past experience, so, so I have been uh, 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 look after, looking after this application process for like two years already. And I have to say that I think uh, uh, not so many students uh, apply for this scholarship, which is, I would say, uh, very generous of UEA to provide you like 50% of tuition fees uh, uh, scholarship, right? Uh, so I encourage every one of you who are interested to, to apply for this scholarship. The process is simple. Uh, you just have to submit your CV, maybe write down. Uh, we, we ask you to, to write down um, uh, maybe just one page of the reason why you want to, to apply for the UEA. What uh, subjects do you, want, do you want to study in this program? And uh, in the past, I think like uh, we did not have uh, uh, difficult decisions to make because we, we got like two or three applica applications only and we just uh, have to, to select uh, 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 two qualified candidates and nominate them to the UEA. So, uh, so for, for those of you who are here already, I encourage that you, that you apply for it um, and we will be happy to, to, to uh, 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 read your applications and, and, and uh, uh, and then have a chance to interview you, and so that we can uh, send uh, good uh, good candidates to to UEA. Okay, so so that's what I want to say about this scholarship. Uh, Jackie, do you want to add something about this uh, scholarship? Um, not not a huge amount. I just, as I said, always been delighted with um, all of the Tamasat students. Um, I do try to act as the academic advisor to the scholarship holders um, and if anybody would like to speak to um, any of our current Thai students or indeed probably more importantly to any of the past uh, Tamasat law students that have completed LLMs here including the 50% scholarship holders I am very happy to put students in touch with those um, people so um, either email me directly or perhaps use Amnat and I'm really happy to um, introduce you by email to these people who will be able to tell you more about the program and tell you more about the UEA as well and Norwich. Uh, but I'm, I very much hope that none of them will have anything negative to say. As I said, I'm always delighted at how warm our alumni are and enthusiastic they are about their time that they have in Norwich. And a lot do go on. Um, for example, uh, one of the popular universities is Queen Mary. And um, the feedback I always get is, of course, Queen Mary is a wonderful institution. It is huge. So they have 800 to 1,000 students on their LLM programme. They assess everything by exam right at the end. Um, so it's a very, very different experience. And of course, it's in London. There isn't a campus. Everyone is, is spread out. But certainly um, the, the feedback I've had is that they're two wonderful experiences, but very different. And I think if you were thinking about UEA and or Queen Mary, you might start in Norwich and then go down to London for, for that different experience. Um, but as I said, I'm very happy to put uh, students in touch with current students or alumni if they do have any questions. Uh, um, Jackie, I have, I have one quick question about, about the employability program that, that you mentioned. Um, mm -hmm. so, so for Thai students, will there be any kind of like visa restrictions? So, so all, all, all the students will be qualified to, to be a part of this program? Yeah. The, um, the, the, placements that are on offer will not breach the visa um, restrictions that are in place um, and often they are short so they, they may only go on for a week they won't be full time so they're not going to we, we're very mindful of any restrictions and of course they are in the main unpaid although some of the law firms will pay expenses um, so indeed, if it's travel arrangements and, and the like, or a daily subsistence allowance. In Bangkok, obviously, it's very different. Um, the law firms that we have placed students with have, have definitely paid a daily subsistence allowance, which has always been well received by the students. Thank you so much.
Um, any other questions for Jackie or Caroline? So the um, I would say that the um, the application process is all online, um, and I know that a lot of students will use local agents to assist them, which is absolutely fine. Um, we try to be very quick. Um, the point is, though, the, the earlier that you can apply and get the paperwork sorted out, the less stress there will be. For those students who have decided to do two LLMs with us, it just means that that whole process of visas and CAS is, is sorted out completely. We don't require more English language qualifications, um, so we don't require references. But I know that a lot of students uh, find it quite stressful. But so my word of advice is to sort of try to be ahead and apply early um, and, you know, avoid the stress of late applications. I don't know whether Carolyn had anything else to add in terms of um, the actual application process. No, no. Okay, thank you. Um, and, and another thing I would add is that most of our Thai students live on campus. So we um, guarantee accommodation to all of our international students provided they pay their deposit on time. And the students do tend to be on campus, so that wonderful campus experience. Um, so that's just another, you know, again, thinking about the whole UEA experience, the fact that we're close to Norwich City Centre, but have this wonderful campus and with all the facilities, shops, um, restaurants, um, bars, entertainment uh, places, and a huge sports park. So. Um, an award-winning um, sports park where there's a, a running track, tennis courts, badminton courts, everything you could wish for, climbing wall, <laughs> and an Olymp Olympic-sized swimming pool. And in fact, they're all very close to the law school. I think we do, Carolyn, I don't know whether you have access to the, um, the UEA by drone. Um, we could quickly show that or I could get that up. Sure, I can do that. Yeah, okay. So we might just, um, it's all, they're all on YouTube. So again, if anyone wants to see some um, some formal videos and some less formal videos, there's quite a few. Uh, the UEA has a channel on YouTube, um, but there's a rather nice one which just has a drone that goes all over the campus and ends at Earlham Hall, which is, which is rather lovely. So perhaps if Carolyn could get that up for us, we can just quickly show that, um, just to end the talk. I'm sure that people are ready for their dinner because um, it's it's getting to 6 p.m., near to 6 p.m. in Thailand, isn't it? I've given the link uh, in the chat box as well. There's one more question for you to answer, Jackie. Okay, let's have a quick look. Uh, Will it affect the LLM study? Um, no, not at all. Um, and indeed, most of the students that join the LLM programme come straight from their undergraduate degrees, most of which, again, are law degrees. Um, what I would say is that those that have spent some time between their undergraduate and then their LLM working probably get a lot out of the LLM because they've been in practice and been been living law rather than just learning it. But certainly you don't need to have work experience to do the LLM. Okay, so Patita, I hope that um, answers your question and hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. My apologies if I didn't. So shall I just quickly launch this um, YouTube? Let's see if we can get this. And I'll then try and um, share my screen so that we can launch the YouTube. I can hear it, so there we go. There we go, I put it to full screen as well. So this is, these are the um, famous ziggurats uh, the stepped buildings, um, 
And this is accommodation, but also some of the university um, teaching rooms. That's the square where students meet. Lots of um, shops and restaurants there. And this is going down to the um, beautiful Sainsbury Centre. A Norman Foster architect. Very, very tranquil area to spend time. New building has now completed. So we have our new science building there. And this is what's called Chancellor's Drive, which is a whole um, blocks of university buildings where the teaching, this is the sports park. You can see the track there in the background with an Olympic sized swimming pool and a wonderful gym. Tennis and badminton courts, badminton courts inside. There we go. And this is Earlham Hall. So this is the law school building. Um, my office is just over the other side in the law clinic, in fact. So that's it. So there we go. That was just a very, very short whistle stop of the, um, of the um, UEA's campus. I'm just going to switch this off, otherwise you might hear the... There we go, let's get that off. There we go. Okay, so any other questions at all? Well, I will be sending some more details. I will be sharing um, those slides with Amna, who can then um, share with you. Thank you all very much indeed, Kopunka, for listening yeah. today. Thank you very much. Um, and I, um, I hope to meet some of you, um, either in Bangkok or hopefully here in Norwich, England at some stage over the next year or so. And I'm not, I obviously look forward to um, working with you over the next few months as well. Likewise, Jackie. So thank you so much, Jackie and Caroline, for being with us here today for uh, almost an hour. Uh, thank you for your time. And I'm sure that students learn more about their uh, opportunity to, to be a part of uh, our UEA LN program. And likewise, I, I look forward to working with you both uh, uh, in the coming future. Thank you so much for today. Uh, and I will uh, 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 forward or share this, the materials that you sent us uh, to, to the students. Thank you very much. And, thank and you. Thank good, you again. Have a good for afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Turkey. Thank, thank you, Caroline. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone, for being here as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.